I turned my flash off and it's even bright. What's going on, you little weir? Yeah, me too, man. Hanging in there, man. I'm doing the best we can. I had a few more uh, points to make. Now, it's starting to rain out here. And I know you guys are worried sick about my dead podomobile. <laughs> and what the hell I'm going to do about it. And uh, that's why I want my fishing pole back, man. You know what I'm going to do for an antenna? For my poda antenna? Ain't no bullshit here, man. I'm going to make that a 17-foot radiator, which is better than the one on my truck. I'm going to mount it atop a 10-foot piece of PVC, which will take the feed point higher than my truck. Ain't no bullshit feed line here, boys. I'm going to make a, um, a ballon to transform the base of that to open wire line. I'm going to run homebrew open wire feed line from the base of that, from the feed point of that 40 meter radiator or 20 meter radiator, that's the feature. You can, it's multi band, it's non resident, just like my, well, not, not like my truck antenna, but it uh, doesn't matter. Feed line loss, nothing. Ballon loss, a little bit. Run the feed line to my branch to my picnic table where the weirdos congregate. And uh, no uh, Anna needed there because I've got my Z-match. I'll run my Z-match to transform the open wire feed line to the rig. Z-match efficiency, incredibly high. Open wire feed line loss, zilch. It'll kick ass. And for a counterpoise, four drooping wires from the 10 foot level to ground. Non resonant. Again, it gets transformed by the Z match. That's what I'm going to do for Poda. Hang on, man. My friend's got a message for you. He said it in CW, but since you guys are still practicing and boning up your speed, I'll tell you what he said. He said 73, yo, farts and YLs. Talk to you later.